Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy, Pro Games Player, and welcome back to another video. So, when I had my old channel, I made a video about things that I wanted to see in a Cross of Cars update. And you know what? I decided to make another video like that because, well, that video was removed. So, maybe I could fill in, um, you know, this video with some new ideas because I think whatever I mentioned in that video has already been fulfilled, so... I don't know, I'm not saying I am responsible for these Team Deathmatch or uh, Capture or Flag Modes being added in Crash of Cars, however, I think those were one of my wishes to be added in Crash of Cars, and I think it's nice if that was the case that Not Doppler actually added those uh, new game modes in the game. So, if Not Doppler is listening to this, then maybe we should... Uh, you know, give some more ideas. So, the first thing which I think should be added in Crash of Cars um, is, well, actually what I think should be added are some new maps. So, the thing here is, with Crash of Cars, the maps we have are already really fine. However, I think recently we haven't been getting as many maps as there can be. So, what am I trying to say? You know how once there was this poll made by Not Doppler where people got to decide what map was added in the game and there were a few ideas and one of those ideas was like a track, you know, a race track map and that didn't win. So yeah, it's a, you know, it's a bit of a bummer that didn't get added. However, why not add it? You know, we still got the facility map instead and I still think we should add that map as a new map because like the whole idea of a racetrack and I think I can circle back to something else related to that map which can be added in the game so I think the racetrack map should be added in Crash of Cars and maybe just a few more new maps because I think this game can actually use some new maps added so that's the first thing right so now let's circle back to that map so why would I want that map in the game well that's because we could get another new game mode. And I've actually seen this in the uh, Crash of Cars communities on the internet. I see other people recommending this, so I don't think I'll be the first one to say it. Uh, but what if we could have a race game mode? So instead of, you know, destroying other cars or collecting flags and all that, uh, capturing flags, what if we instead had a game mode where we raced? Now that would be, I think that would be one of the biggest things to add in Crash of Cars, and here's why. For starters, you can only make that a game mode, you don't have to make it like the main game. Crash of Cars can still remain this IO type game it already is, but adding a race event, you know, like race game mode, that would be so awesome, like, uh, this, this game has a potential, like, you can see a lot of these maps, the way they're designed. It's like they are already made to be tracks. Like this lounge map I'm playing in, it's like it's made to be a race track. You have this uh, entire uh, track set up. You know, you see these blue and green roads. They are all like made to be a race track. So why not actually make a race game mode? And that circles back to the race track map. You could make that map the new map to go alongside that uh, new game mode. And there are so many maps. In fact, every map can be made into a racetrack map. So I think this is something that Not Doppler should add because I think it'll literally be a game changer. I don't know how it will affect, you know, the player demographic because it can attract more uh, players. Uh, no, not demographic because uh, I, I don't know how much that will affect the actual popularity of the game because... Uh, a new game mode like that, it'll be a bold move, but I think it could attract some new people because you would sort of have two games in one, but you don't need to have both games compete at the same time because, uh, whoa, um, okay, never mind. Um, you could only have uh, the regular crown mode be the main game, and this could just be an event, you know, it can just rotate you know, um, it doesn't have to appear all the time, it can just rotate as a cycle, 
sometimes you get a race event, sometimes you don't. Like, I don't think there will be an issue in that. Crash of Cars should still remain to be an IO game. However, I'm just saying, we can have a new game mode. And it'll be totally fine if that was added in the game. And it didn't have to replace anything. I think that would be extremely fine. And along with that, you know, there could be new badges and everything. And that would be really cool. So I think that should be the thing Crash of Cars needs to have. Right, so the next thing which I think should be added in Crash of Cars, and I think I already mentioned this in that old video, but it never actually happened. What if, uh, what if the actual GIF moment capture or GIF moment capture like this one? What if we could actually select our favorite GIF? So what would happen is the game would actually uh, collect multiple of these gifts save multiple of these gifts but then we can choose which one we would actually like to share because or you know at that point we could actually just make the game collect more gifts and then we could share maybe all of them because here's the thing while this is a great way to share you know a kill i noticed that this game collects a gift from the last kill you ever made so if you made like a really epic kill in the very beginning of the game, but then some time passed, you got another kill, which was a pretty standard kill, might have happened off camera, someone got, uh, you know, uh, killed by your landmines, and all of a sudden that epic kill you made in the beginning would be lost because it wasn't the most recent kill. Why? We should probably have the ability to select multiple gifts and save those because this way we could be losing some epic kills and essentially if we do want to save that epic kill we made we would actually have to forfeit uh, our high score we had at the time and that would be an issue because some of us might be on uh, on a three digit crown number and you know you could lose an epic kill you also got during that same game just because the game only captures the most recent kill so i think the whole gif recording system needs to be changed so that we can actually collect and share the best kills that the gifts would capture because this way it's just not that good and the last thing i would suggest because a lot of things have been added in the game i don't think there is anything else i could really add for now but what if we had another way to make gems so here's the thing you can make gems in crash of cars by opening prize machines uh we can get gems by opening um you know uh no by buying gems obviously you know maybe even using the free gems options however here's the thing a lot of skins cost gems right and maybe we could use those gems for skins and what I'm thinking is, there should be a limited time event just just where people can collect uh, gems and coins. Because the thing here is, sometimes uh, we may find all of those gems and skins, uh, no, all those skins and cars expensive, and we don't have the gems and coins to buy them. So, what if there was a special event where we would not only earn gems, we could also earn coins to unlock special skins or some of the skins which cost coins or gems that are already available in crash of cars uh, can be unlocked through a special event i think this would help so many people because after a while you realize that the only skins you might not have are those that cost gems and there are some pretty expensive skins here and look i understand that you know the developers need to make some money by in-app purchases so uh, I think that maybe there should still be a way if someone is really good at the game like don't make this uh, a super easy chance like if someone is really good in the game they should be able to participate in an event where their skills get them skins because I think that'll be such a great way to reward those players who actually who try even more than everyone else and Maybe they don't have the money to spend 
on all those gems. So I think there should be an event for coins and gems or, or skins so that players who don't intend to buy things but are really good at the game can unlock anything. And that's about it guys. Those are the suggestions I have. Things which should be added in Crash of Cars. If you have any suggestions of your own, make sure to write them in the comment section below. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to watch my other videos. And I'll see you later. Peace.